Hi everyone, welcome to Partner Solution Bytes. My name's Andra Christie, and I'm here today with Lee Chong from NCS Australia. Welcome, Lee. Hey, Andra, nice to meet you today. Good to have you here as well. So, Lee, I know NCS has been working with a lot of customers in the power and utility space. Can you tell me a bit about the main challenges that they're facing? Yes, so the power and utility uh, organizations are facing a lot of different challenges recently. Uh, the conversation I had with uh, my clients is talking about a lot of uh, reduced downtimes, uh, increased efficiency, and uh, business transformation and deal transformation as well. I suspect a lot of them would uh, suffer from the same issues, of course. Yeah. Can you tell me what NCS is doing to mitigate some of those issues that they're facing? Right. So we actually built a digital twin solution for our customer, especially for utility and energy customer, to helping them reduce downtime, increase the operational efficiency, and more importantly, get data together. Could you tell me a bit more about how this digital twin accelerator functions? Yes. So the digital twin accelerator is an accelerator, as the name has suggested. It's helping customers to quickly adopt into a digital twin solutions uh, with a few weeks to achieve ROIs. So normally the digital twin frameworks and accelerator programs will run eight to 12 weeks to helping customers to adopt into a specific digital twin use case, especially when the customer don't know how to start a digital twin or if they should do a digital twin for their business. Um, to using these frameworks to adopt a digital twin with uh, a strong ROI attached to it with a fixed time frame is what customer is really looking for. That's incredible. I know some customers have taken up to two years to create a digital twin, so that eight to 10 week time frame uh, is actually fantastic. Could you also tell me what the difference is between the digital twin offering that you have and a um, you know traditional analytics platform? What benefits are customers getting above and beyond that? Yes, there are several differences between a digital twin and a traditional data analytics platform. So the first one is the data analytics platform normally just serves a very specific group of people in the organization for a very specific business challenge. Uh, they're using a data analytics platform to address that. Uh, but with digital twin, it actually serves a very different uh, part of the business, including the engineer, including the operational people, including the business stakeholders. They are all using digital twins to look into how the business is operating uh, of, uh, the, of their business and get an understanding of the process at a glance. The second part is a business, uh, a BI platform or data analytics platform is normally just to get the historical trends uh, of the historical data. But the digital twin is really real-time updating and mimic the structure and the states uh, of the physical system in the real world. So everyone can get a real-time understanding and actually ask a what-if question to the digital twin system to get a more advanced uh, view of the business process uh, and be more proactive. It sounds like it would be very beneficial for those power and utilities customers to have a 360 view of their environment. Yeah. That also applies to the different roles in different departments. Sounds great. Do you maybe have a specific use case or customer reference for me? Yes, I would like to share one of uh, the projects of Digital Twin Accelerator we have done last year with Melbourne Water. We worked with Melbourne Water Recycle Water team at Werribee Melbourne helping them to build a digital twin of their Class A recycled water treatment plants. So we're getting different data from different data sources, including their SCADA, weather, um, laboratory systems uh, has been planted as well to get data into the digital twin. There are 700 plus data points has been identified in the initial stage and get into the, get into the digital twin system. We did the real-time data processing, did the uh, data virtualization in a 3D formats in a very immersive way of a digital twin. I assume using AWS IoT Twin Maker, right? <laughs> you are right, Andrew. So apart from that, we also uh, train a machine learning model layered on top of all the data uh, streams from the front treatment floor to give the water engineers as well as the business stakeholder in the Melbourne water uh, 
uh, in advance suggestions of the Class A recycled water, uh, water quality and the supplement starts of predicting the water stability level in their water lagoons. So what are the main benefits from being able to predict the turbidity level in advance? Yes, so traditionally Melbourne Water Recycled Water Team does not have any uh, predictive capability for the water quality and supplement starts before these projects. What we did is we trained a machine learning model to get in different data together and understand what might happen for the next few days. We have identified the wind speed and wind direction is the most important factor to affect our water stability or the cloudiness level of the water body in the water lagoons because the water, uh, the wind blowing from a certain direction with high speed can move in the water body up and down and the turbidity level will actually increase. Right, so they're getting basically two days warning in advance, which is good for Melbourne Water as well as their customers. Thank you so much for sharing this great example, Lee. Thank you everyone for watching Partner Solution Bytes. Please follow the link below if you'd like to have more information and see you next time.